This is my 1963 RCA Stereo 2 console. I acquired this uh, just a few days ago at a ReStore, Habitat for Humanity store. Um, I walked in and they had it playing in the background and I could pretty much tell by the sound and the bass and that warm tube sound that I was going to find uh, find something and this is what I saw. Um, I collect vintage consoles and audio equipment. Uh, I like the quality of the way they did things back then. Um, I love working on them, getting them uh, restored back to their original glory, looks, and sound. Um, and this one's very nice. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, it's pretty much, um, other than uh, some uh, coat of wax and some liquid gold on the uh, cabinet, um, the cabinet's pretty much uh, as I saw it. Original grill cloth, uh, no issues there. Um, I did remove the back to do any uh, cleaning. Uh, probably won't be able to see back there um, for lighting conditions, but um, it has all of its original RCA tubes. Um, 6330, 30th week of 1963 date codes. Um, eight speakers, uh, two 12 inch and three tweeters per side. Uh, the top tweeters um, are about angled 45 degrees. Um, the turntable did work when I got it, um, but it was a little sluggish on 33 and 78 did not work. I removed the turntable, uh, cleaned and lubed everything, gave it a good polish and uh, cleaning on the chrome. Features the RCA Studiomatic record changer. Um, and this uh, receiver picks up excellent uh, radio reception and features the uh, RCA 6BQ5 output tubes. Let me turn it on here for you. I'll play uh, a selection here in LP. I've got a uh, great sounding uh, Glenn Gray and his Casaloma Orchestra. Uh, does some big bands. And uh, all the lights work. Uh, the tuning eye works. Um, man, it's in really nice condition. Very well taken care of. It uh, doesn't appear to have uh, much use to it. Um, had an NOS cartridge for it and I uh, had a few needles. I had uh, gone to a flea market at one time and bought uh, probably about six, seven hundred NOS needles and maybe about 20 cartridges and one of those cartridges just happened to be for this one. Um, kept the original as it was working. Um, kept the original needle. Um, let me go ahead and put on a record here for you, and uh, you can hear this fantastic sound of this. Uh, this song was released in 1942 by Bobby Sherwood, and it's called Elk's Parade. I'd never heard this one before until I got this Glenn Gray record. Um, I have played the original, and it is very, very close. Glenn Gray was always good about playing as close to the original as possible so hope you enjoy it
Thanks for watching.